back to my channel. Today I have a tag for you. I was tagged by the beautiful Kristen Game to do the Lipstick Attic tag and I was talking with my friend Skylar. We decided to do this as a collab. If you don't know who Skylar is, you must be living under a rock because she is amazing. across her on Instagram. We're both following the same person and we were commenting on a post on Instagram and it was kind of like one of those things where I thought what she was saying was funny so I clicked on her profile and saw her pictures and followed her and then instantaneously she started following me really and weird it was like one of those things where we made a joke and we both got it and it was like oh my god I love this girl and then you know getting to know her and talking to her she's just so beautiful inside and out she knows so much about skincare anytime I have a question about a product or what I should be using I go to her first and she just is a wealth of knowledge um, her channel is amazing she's gorgeous she's got a banging body kind of weird how much I like her <laughs> this is gonna probably sound really strange but if I was in jail she would totally be my Alex Voss if you watch orange is the new black you'll get that reference if you don't I'm sorry, and if you get the reference and you think I'm creepy, I apologize. And she's just the sweetest girl, and we've been having so much fun getting to know each other, and I look forward to meeting her one day because she's that special. Go ahead and list her channel and her video below. Go check her out. Tell her I sent you. I'll jump right in. I have them on my question. I have them on my questions. I have them on my phone, and so we'll just get started. First question: Your favorite lip balm. Um, I have two, and I have two for different reasons. Um, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is the Cake Batter Scented Chapstick. Now this one is sealed because it is a backup. Um, I had one in my vanity, but my child walked off with it, so I'm sure it's a gouged, crusty mess somewhere in the depths of my home. Um, but I just love this. Emma has used chapstick for as long as I can remember. My mom has used chapstick for as long as I remember, so of course I grew up using chapstick and when I saw that they had a cake batter flavor I was all over it and I love it. Um, I have one in my vanity, I have one um, at my desk at work, I also have a backup at my desk at work. I just really love this. Chapstick has been kind of like a holy grail, um, very nostalgic product for me so I will continue to reuse it probably for the rest of my life. second lip balm I want to talk to you about is the Blistex Lip Medics. Um, I use this more as a treatment at night. A little bit of this goes a long way. I just find that when I apply it before bed, when I wake up in the morning, my lips feel revived sometimes with the elements and being out in the sun and being in a dry office environment. Just have like been through the ringer almost every day and so I just find that applying this before bed really helps revive. and get them back to their natural state before I do it all over again the next day. Question two, best eye-catching red? And now I did two because I'm a freak of nature. The first one I am wearing today and it is Max Lady Danger. This is a more orange toned red as you can see and oh my god I absolutely die two of my biggest like icons celebrity fashion whatever you want to call um, them Courtney Kerr and Courtney Kardashian which is funny because they're both Courtney's they both rave about this lip color and I want to be them so I thought I'd start by getting the lipstick and it is just beautiful look at that right there it's just the most beautiful orangey red oh, I love it especially with kind of like the eye look that I'm going with now and a nice like nude blush oh I die for this red. and then the second red is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in F-bomb I've talked about this before this red is beautiful it's when I'm looking for a more blue based red this is the one that I turn to it's just deep it's cooler tone so it goes with a lot of looks it makes my teeth look amazing I get a lot of compliments when I so couldn't do this video enough next question best luxury brand sound for me is Chanel 
I love the packaging. I love the weight of the packaging. I love the formula. I love the colors. I love the way that these make me feel when I'm wearing them. Um, this is, and I pulled two of my favorites. This is the Rouge Allure and how amazing is this packaging? You pop it, you push it there and it just pops down. And this is in the shade Gracil. Shade is just one of the most perfect pinky nudes. It's great for every day. A lot of skin tones can wear this. I love it. When I need a go-to, this is one that I reach for a lot. And then this other shade that I love is a Rouge Coco Shine. And this is in Rendezvous. Um, just a beautiful pink with a little bit of coral to it absolutely pretty these are two of my favorite i love chanel lipsticks and i cannot wait to add more to my collection best drugstore brand if you've been watching my channel any length of time you know i absolutely wild, wild fergie collection i love these and i just pulled three for shirts. something that's like what three dollars or under four for sure they're just creamy they're pigmented they wear beautifully um the packaging is pretty sturdy for being, you know, a cheaper drugstore option. I just love these. Here they are right there. This is VIP Pink. This is Fusionista it's Old School Glam, which is very similar to the shade that I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love these. They do remind me the consistency of the Urban Decay Revolution. Oh, if you're not looking to spend the $22 on the Urban Decays, Revolution lipsticks, these are a great option from the drugstore and I really, really like them. The color selection is amazing. You can't go wrong with any color. Best MAC. And I almost feel really bad about talking about it because it's limited edition, but, or it was limited edition, but this is by far my absolute favorite lipstick from MAC. Um, I get so many compliments when I wear it and obviously I'm not wearing it this time of year because it's dark But this is this is from the holiday collection and this is an amplified in dark deed It's a lot um, after I got it after the holiday season so like early or this year and a lot of you commented asking me what's on your lips this is dark deed and it is bomb.com very beautiful vampy color it makes me feel amazing when i wear it without feeling like marilyn manson if you know what i mean two shades from the permanent line that are similar um diva dark side if diva and dark side were to have a baby it would be dark deed so if you really really like the look of dark deed i would Try and pick up these two and mix them, um, and then that's what you'll get. So, very, very pretty. Love it. That's disappointing. And this wasn't my Friday favorites because I love the color, but I'm extremely disappointed about the smell. These, these are the lasting finish by Kate lipsticks. I'm not going to show you this color because it's in my Friday favorites. I'll link that video below, but... The smell is like floral weirdness, which I know I can't, I always describe things as smelling weird, but it's just not pleasant. You can taste it. It's too perfumey, it, too much of an odor. I love the color, but I can't stand the um, smell. So just super disappointing. And the other ones that I have smell that way too. So I don't reach lip me. liner, yes or no? Sometimes I really wear a lip liner is when I'm wearing a right like the Jordana easy liner is the best they have a nice um, Skinny tip they're retractable. They're long. They're long-lasting. They're really creamy. They're easy to apply um, I really really enjoy those gloss um, Anything from buxom buxom Got it right with their lip glosses their lip creams are just pigmented, they're opaque, they feel nice on the lips, Ugh, they're long wearing without being overly sticky. Ugh, I love them. Um, I don't know the exact formula of these, but these were in a set um, and they're a different kind of, they're not a lip cream, but oh my god, I die. Look how opaque that is. I just, I cannot get enough. I have a ton of Buxom lip glosses floating around um, my collection and I just love them and I can, it's, it's a line that I continue to repurchase. I have the most glosses from that line. 
because they're just amazing. And something extra. I thought these were, when I was deciding, you know, I've seen so many of these tags and everybody's something extra. I'm like, oh, good call, good call. And then I was like, what can I do that hasn't been talked about before? Because what's the point in watching this video, really? And I don't talk about these a lot on my channel because they're not easily accessible um, to those of us in the United States. I am fortunate enough that my friend Beth um, sends me little, we, we alternate sending each other packages and she throws some stuff from this brand in there a lot and it is amazing. From the brand MUA and these are their sticks and these are just super long wearing the color is amazing they're easy to apply I don't find that they travel um, up my lips but I'll just show you these two because these are the two that I wear the most right now um, this is the shade criminal and this is the shade atomic so extremely pigmented, extremely vibrant. Um, once they set, they don't actually wipe them off before they, when I'm swatching, before they set. Otherwise, they are stinkers to get off your hand. You have to like use a wipe, you have to use like almost waterproof makeup remover to get them off. So if you're looking for a long wearing lipstick, these are matte, so I will say that. Um, I would highly suggest going online and, and checking them out. Um, I do believe they ship to the United States. I don't know how much the shipping is because like I've said, I've never ordered directly, but I really, 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 really enjoy them. And so I thought they were worth mentioning because I don't talk about them a lot on my channel or use them in tutorials much because they're not easily accessible. Those were my answers to the lipstick addict tag. I'm not gonna tag anybody because I'm extremely late to the game on this and most of the people that I watch um, have done it or have already been tagged. So if you're interested in doing it and you haven't been tagged yet, I tag you. Um, if you don't make videos, I'll list the questions in the description box. Leave a few answers. Let me know what some of your favorites are. I'm love lip products and I'm always in the market for something new so if you have um, a suggestion that you haven't heard me talk about before leave them below I like to add things to my list and swatch when I go to the store so um, I'm very appreciative of any recommendations that you have go check out Skylar's channel check out her video she's amazing she is my friend in real life um, I know you guys are probably like, ugh, really, another collab? But you know what? Here's my my theory on collaborations. I love to share the love. Um, YouTube is a growing community, um, and if I know of somebody that I enjoy watching and that I enjoy as a person, I want to share them. It's hard to find quality channels of people that you just connect with, and anytime I find somebody that I just absolutely love, I want to share with you guys, because if I love them, I know you'll love them. Her channel, check out her video, I'll list them below. Like this video if you want to see more tags. Um, comment as usual. Subscribe if you're new. If you're from Skylar's channel, thanks for being here. I hope you stay a while. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.